Hello, everyone. So it has been a long time since I have made a video. Like, a really long time. And I just kind of wanted to do an update thing. Not sure what this is going to be. Chit chat. Some good things. Some, I don't know, kind of things. Um, so, I've really not felt like making videos recently. Um, I get burnt out on things quite easily. So, making videos hasn't been top of my priority list the past month or two or whatever it's been. Um, last time I think I made a video I was talking about how I was doing um, the online therapy and I wanted to talk about how that was going. Um, so it made me realise a few things about uh, what's going on with me and what could be the issue, the cause of the issues that I'm having and stuff like that. Um, because some of the stuff I was being treated for didn't feel right. Like it, it. Okay, so let me give you an example. So I was getting this online therapy for social anxiety, which, yeah, I have social anxiety. And it's something I've always had, and it's something that I've always felt like it's just there. Like there's nothing I can do about it. It's, it's going to be there forever. And the therapist who I didn't particularly like, she, um, I'm trying to word it right. So I was telling her about like when I go to the Sheffield Steelers. So I go to the Sheffield Steelers and sometimes if it's a full house or if there's an awful lot of people or if it's very very loud I just can't deal with it and I have to move to a place in the arena which is quieter which is usually the away block so like to save me from having a meltdown I move to another place and she was trying to tell me that um, that's not a way to deal with it um, blah 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 and it's like that's literally all I can do in that situation. It's not a case of just toughing it out and getting on with it. It's like, if I don't move, I will burst into tears and I will have a breakdown. And it's not, it's not just a case of, it felt as, as if she was saying toughen up. And it, it's not like that at all. And it's, it really, yeah, I just didn't think that she was helping me at all. She felt quite judgmental, like judging some things, like giving opinions on things I don't think she should have been giving opinions on, on my life. Um, yeah, I don't think she should be giving personal opinions on subjects like music or whatever. And I, I don't know, she's, she's a therapist. She's supposed to help. And I don't think she helped. I just ended up dreading it every week like logging on and talking to her and I thought the stuff that she's talking to me through doesn't feel like it fits with me at all because I can't do anything about the things that she's saying that I can do something about so <clears throat> I've been thinking for a while that I could potentially be autistic now this is something that I've thought about for a while and it wasn't until fairly recently that I've been watching videos on it and the more I watched the videos on it the more that kind of made sense to me um, and I just I just want to work out why I am like I am and there was a tattoo artist who was on a show or something and she was doing a video on autism in females and how it's different to autism in males and it just every word that she said it just struck true with me like social anxiety is a part of autism 
but there's so much more and everything that she was saying was stuff that I completely agreed with well didn't agree with but I saw in myself um, like you think of autism because most of the studies on autism are to do with males and male autism is generally quite different to female autism and like the obsessive interests that in males can be mostly stuff that's considered I don't know different or whatever and like trains maths I don't know it's the the stereotypical autism traits whereas female autism can be in stuff that is considered normal I don't like these words but yeah and that's where I kind of first was like oh oh because all through my life I have had these obsessions that I need to know everything about I need to collect everything of I need to show my love for this thing and I will not stop talking about this thing until you know I know that I've done it in videos before where I've just talked about this new thing that I'm obsessed with and I know that people have made fun of me for it before and they've done it in real life and they do it online and yeah I never quite understood it but you know whatever and that made a lot of sense to me when she said that um like I've been bands or wrestling or games or whatever I will obsessively research that subject and I'm not good at talking to people unless they want to talk to me about this subject that I love that's essentially what part of autism is it's one of the traits of autism in females and males that if you want to talk about that that special subject that they love they will talk to you for hours even if they don't even know how to string together a small talk conversation which is something I really struggle with I hate small talk I will just do anything not to talk to people <laughs> um, yeah and like other things like being really sensitive to sound like at work if the, the music is past a certain level and someone is next to me talking I can't hear them and I'm really it, it just gets in my head and I just I just have to go in the back and just decompress because if I don't I feel like I'm gonna go insane or have a meltdown and just no I just hate it but then whenever I tell someone to turn the music down it's always because I'm being funny or whatever it's like no it's not because I'm being funny it's because if you don't I'm literally gonna just mm, you know just go just, I don't know um what else is there tags on stuff tags on your clothes I hate tags on my clothes um when I was young like the seams in my socks they needed to be cut out I remember once I was literally just in tears before going to school because I could feel the seams in my socks and I was just crying and so just anxious and all because I could feel seams in my socks which is another thing you can be hypersensitive to certain things um that's another one and hypersensitive to tastes or textures textures is one that has always been me like I've always been a funny eater where like I can perfect example of this yesterday I can eat a piece of mango I love mango mango is incredible I can eat a piece of mango fine yesterday I had a yogurt that was mango yogurt it was vanilla yogurt with mango in it but the mango was lumps cannot eat the lumps I hate yogurts with lumps in I can't eat it never will eat it it just makes me feel sick uh, <laughs> What else? Like swallowing tablets. I have never swallowed a tablet in my life. I've always got this gag reflex that just 
will not allow me to take tablets and everything I have either has to be soluble, effervescent or liquid. It's really weird, I know, but I just, my there's something about my body that will not let me swallow tablets. Uh, there's loads of other stuff like selective mutism is another one that I didn't know, didn't really understand that I did until I heard about it. And it's like when you're in a group of people, you just don't talk, which is true. I don't talk. If I'm in a group of people, I just sit and just don't realize I'm doing it, but I will just sit in silence and just listen. I won't talk. I'd <laughs> probably be sitting there thinking I'd rather be at home. Generally, unless it's a Steelers game, that's the only time I feel particularly social. And even then, if it gets too much, I have to move to a different place in the arena. Um, and just finding social situations very, 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 very difficult. And yeah. Like I, yeah, anyway, I'm going on about this, but I, essentially what happened was last Monday I rang up my doctor, or my doctor rang me back, because they don't do face-to-face -face consultations anymore, which oh, I would prefer, because I prefer, prefer seeing people face-to-face -face than over a phone, because phones, no, I hate phones. Phones are literally my one of my biggest fears, and again, that could be part of autism I've seen that that's a trait of autism as well and <clears throat> yeah he rang me and I asked <laughs> all the time I was this close to tears the entire way through this little consultation um and just saying I think I might be autistic and he asked me to make a note of like write a list of all of the um the things that I think tie with autism and stuff that's like from when I was a child and the stuff that I'm thinking of is like it's been there since whenever and I feel really guilty because um, I'm getting upset <laughs> because my mum and dad feel like they should have seen it and It's not their fault. <laughs> I do apologise <laughs> for getting emotional. But yeah. So that's something that happened. <laughs> and yeah, the doctor essentially said, um, drop this note down to the surgery and we'll see We'll look over it and then um, I'll refer you or whatever. I said he'd get in contact with me if he needed any more information. He's not been in contact since, so I don't know. But we'll see what happens because, I don't know, it's just, it would make me make sense a bit more. Anyway, <laughs> something slightly better, better news kind of thing just to get my mind off of it. And again, this is going back to the, the thing of wanting to talk about something that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so anyone who knows me knows I love CM Punk and I love wrestling, blah, blah, blah. But CM Punk is like my all time favorite wrestler. He left the WWE in 2014 at the Royal Rumble. I remember it well, January 14th, 2014, um, at the Royal Rumble, and he just left. He walked out afterwards. Everyone thought, that's it, he's done with wrestling. He's never, ever, ever coming back, ever, ever again. And last Friday, he just showed up on AEW, <laughs> which I'm so happy about because AEW is my preferred wrestling show of choice. I love AEW, it's so amazing. And yeah, he just, I, again, I cried when he came back because it's like, it's something that you never thought was gonna happen. 
and there he was. He was just he was there in AEW, and he was going to wrestle Darby Allen on the fifth of September at All Out. I've got a hair randomly in front of my face, um, and that's just going to be incredible. Sorry if my chair's making a, a weird noise. Um, it makes squeaky noises. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, CM Punk back wrestling again is like something that I never thought was going to happen ever again and here we are in 2021 and it's going to happen next week, a week today oh my god, a week today I'm going to get to see CM Punk wrestle not only that but the Lucha Brothers versus uh, Young Bucks is going to be absolutely insane in Steel Cage, that's going to be amazing um, what else has been happening oh I got this bag so I ordered a bag from eBay and well it's a Vivian Westwood bag I got it for £25 and I'm not sure if it's real or not it looks really real like the stitching on it is incredible the zip is like big and chunky like you'd expect it to be on a Vivian Westwood uh, the straps are a little bit bendy but aside from that it's this it's this really, really soft leather, very, very soft leather, and it's it's got all the proper like markings and stuff in here, like it's got all the orbs and stuff. Everything inside is all this, and it's just the stitching and everything is like perfect that you would expect on a Vivian Westwood thing. The tag inside it looks real as well, um, but yeah, I got that for twenty five pound. Even if it's not real, I love it because it's really, really soft leather and it's just really gorgeous. Um, so I think I'm going to go now. I've updated you all. I've had a bit of a cry, almost a cry. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to drive home now. I've just finished work and yeah, so... Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, it really means a lot um, to the people who are still here and stuff like that. So, yeah, I will see you all again very soon, maybe, hopefully. <laughs>